Hello, my dear little friends. Welcome to all of you to one more video on the topic noun. Till now, we have learned what is noun and the types of noun like concrete noun, abstract noun, proper noun, common noun. And today also, we are going to learn some types of noun. And before we before we start the lesson, let us let us go through the tree diagram or tree of noun and its types. So what we get for the first time noun. And when uh, the first category of noun comes as concrete and abstract, and after that these concrete nouns are again divided into two categories and those are proper noun and common noun and we have already discussed and you learned i think i hope that concrete noun abstract noun proper noun common noun are already clear to you so let us see the next two division of noun one is material noun and one is collective noun so we'll first learn what is collective noun. In the latter part of the video, we'll learn another two types of noun. But before that, let us finish what is material noun and what is collective noun. So let us understand what is collective noun. To understand collective noun, let us do uh, let us do an activity. Do you have toys? I think you have many toys at home, cars, and find out your cars, the toy cars, and make a line of those of, of those cars. After finishing the line, what would you call the line of cars or line of car toys? So, what is the word we got? line line of car toys here toys toys noun but before that we got the word like line a line of car toys so line is your collective noun again another activity you can do find out the keys which your mother uses and when all the keys are together then what will you call it? A bunch of keys. So, but we get the word bunch of keys. B U N C H. Bunch. So, this word is collective noun. So, actually, collective nouns are group names. When, say, one noun is collected in one place, uh, in one area, and we, we name it as a unit, then it is called collective noun. In the same manner, if we put many flowers in one place, then what will, what will we call? A bunch of flowers or a bouquet of flowers? In the same manner, uh, you can say there, are, there, is a, there is a gathering of many people in one place. Then what, what will you call? A crowd. Say there is a gathering of many angry people. Then what will you call? A mob. M-O-B. Mob. In the same manner, when one noun is collected in numbers, in many numbers, when one noun is collected in one place or one area, and as a unit, you give it a name, then it is called collective noun. So let us go through the definition of collective noun in written form. You can see on your screen, and I will read as well, collective noun. Collective nouns are usually group names. They denote the names of a group of persons, animals, or things taken as one unit. For example, crowd. A collection of people, fleet, a collection of ships or vessels, cattle, a collection of cows, herd, a collection of animals, zuri, a collection of people, 
mob a collection of people again army a collection of soldiers so next we will see more example uh, more examples of collective noun on your screen you can read and i will read for you as well let us go through the examples of collective nouns a band of musicians a bouquet of flowers a bowl of rice a bunch of keys a catch of fish a set of drawers a choir of singers a class of students a cloud of dust a crew of sailors a crowd of people spectators a fleet of ships a flight of birds a flock of birds a flock of sheep a flock of tourists a forest of trees a galaxy of stars a gang of laborers a gang of thieves a group of dancers a group of islands a haul of fish a hedge of bushes a hive of bees a host of sparrows a kennel of dogs a library of books a litter of calves a litter of puppies kittens a murder of crows a pack of curs a pack of hounds a pack of lies a pack of thieves a pair of shoes a herd of deer cattle elephants goats buffaloes more examples are there for you for collective nouns let us read these examples a panel of experts a range of mountains a regiment of soldiers a stack of wood a staff of employees a string of pearls a swarm of bees ants rats flies a team of horses ducks oxen a team of players a tribe of natives a troop of lions a troop of artists dancers a wed of norns a zoo of wild animals an album of stamps photographs autographs an army of ants an army of soldiers and an audience of listeners so from all these examples i hope the concept of collective noun is clear to you please please watch the video and listen carefully so that you can understand the concept and if you have any question you can put it in comment box so that i can explain to you again now let us move to material noun material noun from the name itself we can understand it is a matter it is a material or substance out of which something else can be uh, made of or made from there are many things around us like uh, air like soil like i am water like ice like milk like tea coffee sugar from all these things we can make something new say it is milk how many things we can make from milk you have already learned the things uh, which are made from milk curd paneer uh, butter ghee all these things are made from milk and uh, another example we can take as uh, wood from wood there are many things made of like uh, in your class uh, there is a simple thing like duster duster is made of wood the table the chair the uh, desk everything is made of wood so these are the materials or substances out of which we can make something else so from the things where from we can make something new or something new can be made of or made from those substances or materials are called material noun let us go through the definition of material noun in written form so that we can understand the concept of the noun in a better way in a clearer way so it is on your screen you can also read i will also read for you material noun the noun that denotes a material or substance out of which a different thing is made of or made from for example gold silver wood petroleum milk water tea coffee soil steel etc now let us move to the homework part for material noun and collective noun you have got homework the first question of your homework today is uh, i have put down some uh, phrases and in those phrases the collective nouns are given 
but you have to put the nouns for which noun those collective nouns are used you have to put in the blank as you can see on your screen uh, a garland of there is a blank in that blank you have to put the noun for which noun you will use garland now the second question of your homework you have to find out the collective nouns and uh, there are 30 sentences totally there are 30 sentences and out of those 30 sentences you have to find out the collective nouns which are used in those sentences and the third question for today is you have to find again the material nouns again there are 30 sentences from those 30 sentences you have to find out the material nouns what are used in those sentences Now let us move to another two types of noun and those are countable noun and uncountable noun. Before we understand what is countable noun and what is uncountable noun, let us have a look uh, the complete tree diagram or tree of noun and its types. So you can see noun, first of all noun is divided into two categories, concrete noun, abstract noun. Concrete noun is again divided into two categories common noun and profound noun noun again is concrete noun is again categorized into material noun and collective noun now the last two types we have got countable noun and uncountable noun here one thing you should note it down that abstract noun and material noun they will be uncountable noun always now let us understand what is countable noun and uncountable noun. From the name itself you can guess what can be the meaning of those two words. Countable which can be counted, uncountable which cannot be counted. Here the point to understand is that countable, when you say countable noun, the nouns which can be counted in numbers like 1, 2, 3 and uncountable nouns which cannot be counted in numbers like 1, 2, 3 but can be measured like 1 liter, 2 liters, 1 kg, 2 kg like that. There are many things around you like uh, you like bird, you like toys, you like uh, toy cars, uh, you like uh, you have pencil, you have pen, you have bag, all these things. Can you count? You have one bag. You have one pencil or two pencils, you have two bags or there are many birds, there are three birds in the sky or uh, sitting in the tree. In the same manner, there are many nouns which can be counted, but there are many nouns around you like water, like uh, sugar. These things you cannot count as one, two, three. So the things which can be counted in numbers like 1, 2, 3 or indefinitely as some, a few, many, those nouns are called countable nouns and the nouns which cannot be counted in numbers like 1, 2, 3 but can be measured, those nouns are called uncountable noun. Let us go through the definition in written form. A countable noun refers to that category of noun which can be counted as 1, 2, 3, etc. or indefinitely as some, a few, etc. The answer of the question how many can be attributed to it in quantity. For example, there is a boy in the class. How many boys? How many boys? Only one. 
There are some birds on the tree. How many birds? Some birds. There are five apples in the basket. How many apples? Five apples. A few guests turned up in the party. How many guests? A few. There are ten doors in the house. How many doors? Ten doors. So, a countable noun always answers the question, how many? Let us go through the definition of uncountable noun. Uncountable noun refers to that category of noun which cannot be counted in numbers but can be measured. The answer of the question, how much can be attributed to it in amount, not numbers. So, there is much sugar in the milk. How much? Much. The answer is much. He gave me much advice on that matter. Here again, how much? Much. There is a little water in the glass. How much? A little. He has a little knowledge on history. How much? A little. Mary wasted a lot of food yesterday. How much? A lot. So, countable noun which can be counted in numbers, uncountable noun which cannot be counted in numbers but can be measured. And the question how many is answered by countable nouns and the question how much is answered by uncountable nouns. One more thing to remember, material noun and abstract noun both are always uncountable. Let us go through some more examples of uncountable noun. I will read for you. You can see on your screen. You can also read or listen to me and read. So here you go. Accommodation, advice, aggression, air, art, assistance, beauty, beef, behavior, blood, bravery, bread, butter, cake, cash, chaos, clothing, Coffee, confidence, confusion, content, paper, perfume, patience, peace, progress, publicity, pasta, rain, research, rice, salt, satisfaction, seafood, space, shopping, silence, soup, spaghetti, sugar, silver, smoke, cotton, education, Energy, enjoyment, electricity, entertainment, equipment, evidence, experience, failure, faith, fame, fuel, fun, furniture, fruit, gasoline, grief, gold, grass, ground, guilt, golf, harm, happiness, homework, humor, history, jewelry, knowledge, laughter, love, language, machinery, money, meat, milk, motivation, mustard, nature, news, snow, stress, sunshine, time, transportation, travel, thunder, traffic, trust, understanding, warmth, water, wealth, weather, wisdom, wood, work, yoga, youth. So from these examples, you can understand clearly that there are many nouns abstract nouns and material nouns which have come under the category of uncountable nouns. So let us move to the homework part for this countable and uncountable nouns. And here you have got only one question. There are altogether uh, 30 sentences and from those 30 sentences you have to just find out the countable and uncountable nouns. So, that will be the end of our lesson today and today we have covered material noun, collective noun, countable noun, uncountable noun and with these four types, the types of nouns are over. So I will come up with one more new video where I will uh, talk about possessive noun, a position and come on now. Thank you. Till then, stay home, stay safe. Bye bye.